Has anybody ever told you you shouldn't start learning how to play an instrument later in life? I think that's not true. And we're going to talk to somebody who did pick it up later in life and then hit another major obstacle and continues to play and plays really well. Stick around. We're going to talk to him and listen to his music. Welcome to Charlie's Open Mic. My name is Charlie Mossbrook. and this week's show, we're going to talk to my friend Mark Freeman. He's a singer, songwriter, and lyricist from Cleveland, Ohio. Really fantastic player. He picked the instrument up much later in life and uh, really did some great things with it. And then he hit a major obstacle. We're going to talk to him about that experience, what he went through, how he came back from all that he's gone through, and how he continues to play today. And we're going to listen to his music. So, uh, So let's go talk to him now. Hey, Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you, Charlie. You want to tell us a little bit about how you got started? You started a little bit later in life than than a lot of people, and and there's an interesting story around it. So why don't you share that with us? I started playing when I was, well, in probably uh, 1999, 2000, right in there. Uh, And I just started playing because the guys in the advertising agency that I was working with were playing too. And mm-hmm. we just all had a really good time. And every night we'd sit there and play. Cool. And were there any bumps in the road along the way? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Um, I started playing and actually I had recorded like the very first album. Uh, it's called Cold Feet. Mm-hmm. And started to record that stuff. And that was just about done. And then I had a stroke. Uh, and I lost or my carotid artery on my left side had failed. And what I didn't know is that my carotid artery on the right side had failed years before. So it was already gone. And so I was faced to like live a life that where my brain could be completely dead, Mm -hmm. but it wasn't. So I was very fortunate in that. Did, did you find that the music helped to help your recovery in some ways? Oh, sure. Well, it, 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 when I could play again, yes, it did mm-hmm. help. But uh, it, it was just very difficult. I couldn't, I couldn't think straight. I spoke in very small sentences. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just, it was a very aggravating and extremely depressing kind of a thing. Um, and I just, I couldn't pay attention to my vocation, which was advertising and public relations. I wrote for Frigidaire and Electrolux and Pioneer and stuff like that, Mm -hmm. but I couldn't take care of my avocation either, which was songwriting. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I thought things were going pretty swell. Um, and then it turned out to go really wrong. Or when did you feel like you'd recovered enough to really start getting back into um, songwriting and playing guitar in a serious manner? It was probably three years or so. Um, I went to um, this recuperative kind of a place where the insurance company had sent me and stuff like that. But the, the, I guess the lessons and stuff that I learned there, they gave me 10 lessons, which isn't nearly enough, but I went to six and they were, just terrible. So I quit. And I started to look for another place. And Lisa Kenyon, who is Marco Litsky's wife, who Mark is one of the guys that I played with, mm-hmm. along with Bill Lestock, his wife recommended uh, Cleveland State University. And we just started going there. And I literally went there for three years, uh, which took a long time, but it was well worth it. Mm-hmm. And that was studying music or studying uh, all kinds of things, just get your brain engaged and working well. That's, that's what happened. And it was, it was just very, very difficult because I, I can't really explain it, but at the time uh, everything was just very short and I was so disgusted with myself because I couldn't do any of the things that I normally did. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that was really bad. But these guys like healed me up and did whatever. And, and we started to write poems because they knew that that's what I like to do. 
Mm -hmm. and eventually it all turned around so that's great yeah yeah i know with uh, my spinal cord injury recovery uh some of the people who i did a lot of physical therapy with were were stroke yeah. patients uh victims and um it's a tough road it's really a tough road so congratulations on uh all you've come through and and uh Glad to see it. And you're you're a brilliant songwriter. Uh, I, I hear it's, from so many people around the Cleveland area. What a great lyricist you are. Uh, thank you. Of course, so you, you, you share your life with um, one of Cleveland's best vo voices and and honky tonk piano players, Rachel yes, Brown. Yep. And uh, she's on one of our earlier shows from last yep. summer. But you're going to share a song with us, one of your own. And yep. um, and you're going to play it on a Collings. Do you want to tell me about that Collings? Collings was a, it, I actually, I bought it used in Ithaca, New York. Uh -huh. And it was, it's just a great guitar. And I think it sounds wonderful. And it's just really super. Uh, the song that I'm going to play was the very first song that I had ever published uh, after I had a stroke. And it's called My Life. Cool. Well, let's take a listen. This is My Life. I spend my life just wondering why the things I wish for pass me by. I wish upon the birds that fly and the hope that they will say bye bye. If I asked to have.
Thank you for watching Charlie's Open Mic this week, and thank you to Mark Freeman for sharing his story and his music with us. As always, you can hit that subscription link down below. Please ring the bell for notifications for upcoming episodes. Uh, you can click like down below, comment down below. All these things help us with YouTube to get us into the higher rankings of the algorithm. So these songwriters are heard by many, many more people. So please do that. Also, you can find us at charliesopenmic.com and find a Patreon link to help support the show. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.